Fox 10 News. Only on Fox, you want to launch a business? Most entrepreneurs head to cities like Dallas, Denver, San Francisco, or Seattle. Well, the Valley may not be a top of mind when it comes to starting a new company, but two young software engineers beg to disagree. Linda Williams has their story tonight. You could call them the software guys from Silicon Valley. Not this kind of software, this kind. June of 2012, with $6,000 in startup money, Dei Park, seen here in the company's website video, and his friend, JT Marino, quit their jobs in Silicon Valley, which many would consider fertile ground, and headed for the Valley of the Sun to launch a mattress company. They say, despite what you may have heard, Silicon Valley is not necessarily a good launching pad for young businesses. People view Silicon Valley as the land of opportunity, but at the same time, it also forces you into a funnel. Rents are high, wages are high, it's very competitive. Okay, but why mattresses? First-hand experience apparently motivated this duo. It was a nightmarish experience for JT and his bride. And that's around the time when JT got married and experienced you know, the terrible mattress shopping uh, going, going to these stores. So we wanted to start our business based on a problem that was very intimate to us and that we were very passionate about. They picked Grand Avenue in downtown Phoenix to buy a building and set up Tuft in Needle a mattress showroom. Some see this area west of downtown as rundown, shabby, and sketchy. These two see massive opportunity. You just sort of need um, some early pioneers to sort of get it going. But uh, there's an enormous amount of talent. There's, um, it's very community-based. A lot of people will help you and want to see success and, and support you. Welcome to Tuft and Needle. On this afternoon, Tuft and Needle in downtown Phoenix was bustling. I thought this is like the Apple store. Uh, and, and like an Apple store, you can try all the products. So you liked it? I, I'm very impressed with the product. As laid out on their website, it's an easy setup, and you can take it for a test snooze for 100 days. If you don't like it, they'll give you a refund. All they ask is that you donate the mattress to charity. But very, they very think talented. you'll like it. But this material, we're able to make a mattress for people who like firm and soft. <laughs> The marketing is bold and eye-catching. It challenges the traditional mattress makers with slogans like, mattress stores are greedy. Pricing ranges from $350 for twin mattresses to $750 for a Cal King. Park and Marino say they see a big future in Phoenix as more entrepreneurs realize what they did and choose the valley over bigger cities. You're not lost in the noise of like a, like a New York or an LA or an, or an SF. Um, and yeah, there, there is, um, you, you can do it here. These young businessmen say they know many more people will be awakening to the business possibilities Phoenix has to offer. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News. Well, the company has been in downtown Phoenix for four years. It has about 190 employees, and the mattresses are manufactured in Southern California. You, it's just right around the corner. If you right. needed a nap during I the do. day. I do. I need a nap. You could just walk down there and... Try yep. mattress. I'm out. going now. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> John's going to go try it now. That sounds so good. If you want more information on how they built their business, we have a link on our website, fox10phoenix.com.